water lapping on old. In a toot. As we are bound by laws, you are bound by wire. Yet your crime was the act of killing. So we must drive you out. Away from the Werek. From protection. From our songs. My chieftain. Coppola. Am I not your favorite fighter? Do you not recognize me from this tooth you knocked out? How many times have I pulled you from danger by your neck? Made excuses for your behavior? You are my favorite! But the shaman is decided. While you wait for exile, think on what brought you here. A test of strength! Who among us would refuse a challenge from an outlander? Not I! But I did not kill him! Hush, hush. You can tell your story to the ice. <laughs> You took Artok's mantle. It's mine now. I would like to see that fight. They said that you killed someone. Perhaps I did. Even my chieftain accepts that it must be so. That's not the way it works for me. Want to tell me your story? I did fight with the Karja Hunter to settle a challenge. That much is true. He was strong and damn quick. We traded punches. Good punches. Hard punches. And the next thing I remember... Gray morning light. And the Karja beside me. With his head broken open. But the blow was not by my hand. Isn't your Werak supposed to support you? At least give you the benefit of the doubt? When our Werak had caused a quarrel, I was a solution. To fight for its honor and win, they'd call on me. Or, when they needed someone to lose for appearances, I could do that too. Now an Outlander is murdered without honor, all eyes are on me. I have become my Werak's shame. They don't want an incident with the Karja, so you take the fall. But it's what I do best. So, everyone knows you started the fight with this man? Of course! For honor, I'll fight anyone. If, if I wasn't bound, I'd fight to prove myself right now! I don't think that would help you. This is what I am. Each runner in the Werrick has a gift. I brawl. None can take a punch, a fall better than I can. Until this time, I was too drunk. We were grappling, he clapped my ears. I took one last swing as I went down, but... Not a killing blow. It can't have been. And for your punishment, they'll exile you from the Warwick? From warmth. March me up the slopes of the Cloud Shear. Leave me stripped and exposed. That's awful. If I survive, the land has absolved me. That's the law. It must be accepted. It's still awful. I'm not stupid. I don't like my chances either. I can't fight a mountain. I'll be honest, you haven't got a good defense in Itut. I've heard that one before. Where did the fight happen? A clearing, just outside the Karja Outlanders camp. You should talk to them. They wouldn't hear me out. They say no one else could have been there, other than me and the dead man. The shaman consulted the signs in the snow and agreed. I'll see what I can find out, and I'll be back. I'll be here. What else am I gonna do, until the horn gives a call from my exile? Huntress, what business do you have with us? I was asked to look into the murder of a Karja hunter. What happened? It's plain as day. A drunk Banuk thug picked a fight with Ruas, struck him down from behind and stole his headdress. The accused man says that he didn't do it. You're not going to get anything useful out of the Banuk, whether they talk to you or don't. They gather up like cloaks in a chill wind every time a hunter dies out here. Won't even hand Ruas' killer over for a proper trial. A proper trial. To fill his mouth with salt. 
and hold him up for the sun to consider over days. If it is Clement, it may only take his sight, or his wits. So other Karja hunters have died in these lands before? Three, maybe four in the last few seasons. That's no surprise. This place punishes even the prepared, and many young nobles don't prepare. But usually the snow covers everything, and the bodies are never found. No thanks to the Banuk. Do you think they're involved? No. If it's not about their tribe, they don't want to get involved. In these outlands, even the sun cannot thaw all it touches. Doesn't sound like you trust the Banuk much. They're not without their reasons to keep apart from us. Ten years of reasons. Oh, it's the war. The war is over. We made amends, but no. The land never forgets. Snow and ice keep memory, they say. It takes time for scars to heal. You think I don't know that? I still bear the lashes for refusing one of the Mad King's sun priests. I was your age then. Uh, times of shadow. Times of shadow. Where did you find Ruas's body? There's no hunt, girl. Nothing to pick up. Humor me. I'm a good tracker. Down the rise to the west, there's a clearing. But a grazer herd couldn't have trampled it better. And if that barbarian gives up Ruas's headdress before they cast him out, let me know. It's valuable. A woman now leads the hunter's launch only because no men were left in her house to do the job. This is it. Snow's been disturbed of blood on the snow. That was used for the killing blow. This is where Ruas fell. It does seem that only two people fought here. Not looking good for Inatut. Didn't try to hide the weapon. Question is, is Inatut the kind of fighter who hits from behind with a tree branch? Now here's something. Lots of leaves and bark scraped off here. And someone pulled out the branch? No. From climbing it. They came through the trees. Good view of the Karja camp and the clearing.
all this is ominous. A dead end? Can't be. this over. What are they trying to hide? Courage your armor. This looks bad. It doesn't matter. The deed is done. Another Karja dead. <laughs> and the is his exile for A life for a Karja luck. <laughs> That's war. Someone's here! Not Banook. Then she won't be missed. Big bot some trouble! You've been killing Karja. And for what? Revenge for the war? Who gets to declare that one tribe no longer hates another? I'll tell you. Not the ones who fought. Not the ones whose songs are silenced. But my kin. For what you did, another Banuk has been sentenced to certain death. What about his song? Oh, that's why you followed us. For that punch drunk idiot in a toot. Fate is sharp today. They've already let him out to face his exile. Let's see who the gold claims first. I need to go after Inatut. But I should find some more evidence first. to Ruos, so it was a Karja soldiers. Not that it's any excuse. Did they keep any clothes from their victims? Who 
This Karja gear's not warm, but if Inatut's naked on a snowfield, he'll take what he gets. Okay, time to get moving. the rock. The Nora girl? Is it really you, or has the bone shell got through my skull? I found the real killers. No one else has to die because of this. Take these. A dead Karsha's clothes. Haven't I been beaten down enough? But I won't argue. I swear, I thought I'd saw my ancestors. They said, it would surprise you ended up here. <laughs> you better hurry. <clears throat> Machines.
I won't be taken! Now that was a fight. Your trial's over. It was other Banuk who killed that man. Killed him because he was Karja. You know why I took the first swing at him? He challenged the honor of the Banuk. The honor. That's what I thought. Come on. Let's get you back. Once I'm off the mountain, I'll find my own way. I need to think. It's not something I'm used to. Who knows what could happen. I'll see you at town then. You'd better make it, all right? I give my pledge. So by the new claw, if Inatut survives, he's forgiven. But I want to prove to his chieftain that he wasn't guilty in the first place. Inatip told you the truth. This is the headdress stolen from the murdered man. You'll find more in a ravine north and west of here, along with the bodies of the killers. The exile still served its purpose. He was guilty of our suspicion. Fate has fallen like snow, and should Inatip return, he will be absolved. You can't be serious. He speaks for the Warwick, my Nora friend. You look ridiculous. If you would return to my Wirak, you will behave as a Banuk does. How does a Banuk behave, my chieftain? Like I did? Accepting a sentence for a crime he did not commit. Or those others who killed in cold blood for crimes that their charge of victims did not. I think what I wear will not make me more or less of a Banuk. For his own sake, it would be wise for him to think less, Nora friend. I'll talk to him, but not for you. Deep in. Silence for the rising waters. You've survived. I defied my chieftain's will, spurned my Warwick. How are you feeling? As if I've been pounded the guts. I could just keep walking, but when my anger has thawed, it will leave me with nothing. Where else would I go? You can decide for yourself what it means to be a Banuk. It might not be what the Chieftain and the Shaman tell you. Whether you stay with this Warak or find another... I'm better with decisions like... Do I start with the left, or the right? There's more to you than your fists, Inatut. That's why I believed you. It was my chieftain who taught me honesty. Said, a Banuk should not be treacherous when the ice is treacherous enough. I'll sit with my bruises for a time, then talk with her again. As for you, Nora girl, will you accept this gift? A, a little scrawny weight against the great boon you gave me I'm honored. Thank you, Inatut. No more music.